Welcome to the Agent and Broker Video Learning Center. In this video, the term marketplace refers to federally facilitated marketplaces, or FFMs, including FFMs where states perform plan management functions and state-based marketplaces on the federal platform, or SBMFPs. We are going to do a walkthrough of the Income Calculation Tool. This tool can assist applicants in estimating previous, current, and future income for a given year. The Income Calculation Tool is linked in the video description below. This video will walk through two scenarios where consumers use this tool to update income in a current application and to estimate future income for an application for the next coverage year. Please note, savings for marketplace coverage is based on the applicant's expected household income for the year during which their coverage will start, not the previous year's income. For example, if a consumer applies for coverage during the plan year 2023 open enrollment period for coverage starting in January 2023, the applicant's eligibility for savings for marketplace coverage will be based on their projected income for 2023. This tool can be accessed two ways. First, by visiting the Income and Household Information page on healthcare.gov. Second, through the Review Income and Expenses page in the Marketplace application. On this page, consumers will see an estimate of their yearly income based on the current monthly income they provided previously in the application. If the estimate of their yearly income doesn't seem correct, consumers can use the income calculation tool to help them come up with their best estimate. The first scenario we will review is how to update income in an existing application using the income calculation tool. This scenario features Mario. In November of 2023, during the open enrollment period, Mario applied for healthcare coverage for himself through healthcare.gov and is now enrolled in a qualified health plan. Mario's estimated income for the upcoming year qualified him for financial assistance and paying for marketplace coverage. However, a few months later, Mario temporarily lost his job and therefore his income changed from the previous estimate on his application. Mario will update his marketplace application to ensure he is getting the right amount of financial assistance. Mario isn't sure what to enter for his income estimate, so Mario will use the healthcare.gov income calculation tool to estimate his 2024 income and use the calculated income from the tool to update his marketplace application. Mario will start by adding income from any employment he has had this year, the unemployment benefits he is currently receiving from his state, and expected income from future employment. To add his job from the beginning of the year into the tool, Mario selects Add Income Source under the Income category. Mario's salary from his most recent job, ABC Corp, was $35,000 per year, so he enters this into the amount field and selects yearly for the frequency. Mario first started working at ABC Corp in 2023, so he will enter January 1st, 2023 as his income start date for the current year. Mario worked at ABC Corp through the end of January, so he will enter January 31st, 2023 as the income end date. Once he inputs this information, Mario will select Calculate to add ABC Corp as an income source. Mario then began receiving state unemployment benefits on February 1st, 2023. Mario will need to select Add Income Source again to add his state unemployment benefits. As he enters his unemployment income, Mario realizes he isn't sure how to accurately calculate his unemployment compensation. Mario selects the I need help calculating this income help text to learn more. From the help text, Mario learns he needs to report his $233 weekly state unemployment benefits from the date he got laid off. Mario knows that he currently receives $233 in state benefits per week. So he inputs $233 in the amount field and selects weekly as the frequency. Since Mario's unemployment benefits went into effect at the beginning of February, he enters February 1st, 2023 as the income start date. Based on what he knows from past experience, recent trends, and possible changes at his workplace, Mario anticipates returning to work at ABC Corp in November. Therefore, Mario enters October 31st, 2023 as the income end date. Once he inputs this information, Mario will select Calculate to add his unemployment as an income source. Mario thinks he will be able to return to ABC Corp at the beginning of November. Even though his income is unpredictable, he'll do his best to make a realistic estimate and will update his marketplace application if anything changes. 
Mario selects Add Income Source to enter this expected income. Mario thinks he will have a salary of $28,000 when he returns to ABC Corp. To report this, Mario enters $28,000 as the amount he will receive and yearly as the frequency. He expects to be employed at the beginning of November and anticipates keeping his employment through the end of the year. Therefore, Mario enters November 1st, 2023 as his income start date and December 31st, 2023 as the end date. After he inputs this information, Mario selects Calculate to add this expected income. In addition to adding income to the tool, Mario should add any expenses he has, including student loan interest, alimony payments, IRA contributions, or educator expenses. Mario pays a monthly amount in student loan interest, so he selects Add Expense to report this. Mario knows that he pays $50 a month in student loan interest. To report this expense, Mario enters $50 as the amount he pays and monthly as the frequency. He then selects Calculate to add his student loan interest as an expense. Mario scrolls down the page to see his net expected income for 2023. After using this tool, Mario's expected income for the year is $16,139.05. Mario can either select Print to print this page, or Download PDF to download a PDF of the information he entered in the tool. If Mario wants to start over, he can select Clear Form, and then follow the same steps detailed in this walkthrough to input his income sources and expenses. Mario returns to his Marketplace application to update his estimated income for the year. Mario enters the income he calculated using the Income Calculation tool into his Marketplace application and then proceeds through the rest of the application. It's important for Mario to estimate his income for the year as closely as possible. If Mario ends up earning more income than he included here, he may need to repay some of his financial assistance when reconciling taxes. If Mario's income changes during the year, he should recalculate his income using this tool and update his application to make sure he's getting the correct financial assistance. The second scenario we will review is estimating income for a future coverage year using the Income Calculation tool. In this scenario, Layla is applying for coverage during open enrollment in November of 2023. Layla's eligibility for financial assistance for marketplace coverage is based on her projected income for 2024. Layla has a salaried position but also works part-time in the summer for additional income. She will use the Income Calculation tool to estimate her expected income in 2024. She accesses this tool through the Income and Household Information page on healthcare.gov. Layla will start by adding income that she expects to have in 2024. Layla is a high school teacher, and she expects to be employed for all 12 months in 2024. To add her job into the tool, Layla selects Add Income Source under the Income category. Layla's annual salary as a teacher was $38,600 in 2023. She does expect this to increase by $1,400 in 2024, so she enters $40,000 in the amount field and selects yearly for the frequency. Layla started working as a teacher in 2023, so she will enter January 1st, 2024 as her income start date. She expects to be employed the entire year, so she enters December 31st, 2024 as the income end date. Once Layla inputs this information, she will select Calculate to add her teaching position as an income source. Layla also works part-time for a lawn care business during the summer months when she doesn't teach. To add this extra income into the tool, Layla selects Add Income Source again. Layla gets paid weekly at her lawn care company and makes around $500 a week. She enters $500 as the amount and weekly for the frequency. She usually works from the middle of June to the end of August, so she enters June 15th, 2024 as the income start date and August 31st, 2024 as the income end date. Once she inputs this information, Layla will select Calculate to add her part-time work as an income source. In addition to adding income into the tool, Layla should add any expenses she thinks she will have in 2024, including student loan interest, alimony payments, IRA contributions, or educator expenses. In this case, she won't have any applicable expenses in 2024, so she doesn't add any expenses into the tool. Layla scrolls down the page to see her net expected income for 2024. 
After using this tool, Layla's estimated income for the upcoming year is $45,571.43. Layla should enter this estimated income amount into her Marketplace application when she applies for a plan year 2024 coverage. It's important for Layla to estimate her income for the year as closely as possible. If Layla ends up earning more income than she included here, she may need to repay some of her financial assistance when reconciling taxes. If Layla's income changes during the year, she should recalculate her income using this tool and update her application to make sure she's getting the correct financial assistance. For more information on reporting income, see the video description. We hope this video has been helpful. If you haven't already, we encourage you to watch our other video for a full walkthrough of the streamlinedhealthcare.gov application in which the applicant is seeking financial assistance, linked in the video description below. If consumers need additional support completing a marketplace enrollment application or estimating their expected yearly income, they should contact the Marketplace Call Center.